So we're going to talk about vocal resonance. Now, your vocal cords slam together and make a sound that sounds like crap. But think of, you know, if you have an iPhone or a smartphone that has those speakers, bleh, right? But sometimes if you put that phone on a, on a hard surface, it, the sound can actually get louder and better. That's because it's reverberating. That's what uh, your face basically does. So you make that crappy sound and then it goes up uh, into three different cavities and uh, resonates and makes a much larger and more pleasant sounding sound. So there are three places. Basically you've got the nasal cavity uh, where air can resonate, you've got the oral cavity, that's your mouth, and then you've got the pharyngeal cavity. That's the one that doesn't sound intuitive. Uh, so the pharyngeal cavity is basically the back of your throat. Now in to do different character voices and to work on kind of musical stylings when you're singing and stuff, you want to pay attention to uh, where that placement is. So you think of uh, people like Nathan Lane or characters like Peter Griffin. Um, they have a very nasally uh, sound, and that's because they're letting more air into, or at least they're letting the sound into the nose, and then it can you know, spin around there. Uh, where if you have something that's very much in the mouth, um, there's still a little bit in the nasal cavity, a little bit in the back of my throat, and then you have, that's, uh, that's roughly average what what people do and then sometimes you get things in the back of your throat and you sound absolutely ridiculous now there's no nasal resonance at all and there's very little resonance in the uh, oral cavity at all uh, now one of the ways you can test for this is um if you're worried your voice is a little bit nasal try pinching your nose now if you think of uh what is the, the brother on Everybody Loves Raymond? He's got, you know, that voice that's, that sounds very distinctive, but, you know, he's a Raymond, so he's talking like this and everything. But if I were to pinch my nose, I could continue talking without any real distortion to what I'm doing. That's because I'm not letting any resonance happen up here. Whereas if I were going to talk like Nathan Lane, I punch my nose, it's gone. So there you go. Those are three places where you can, you know, spin the resonance to kind of ch to change the mood of your voice, and uh, that should help you have some more flexibility in uh, developing characters and working on your own voice.